I would uh, first like to have Garrett stand up and wave. And I would just like to introduce him real quick. So Garrett it works in Casper as the YCC coordinator. He is um, located in the CD and the Corona County Health Department. Garrett graduated from the University of Wyoming in 2018 with a bachelor's degree in speech, language, and hearing sciences. And then after graduation, he served in the Peace Corps volunteer in North Macedon Mac Macedonia. I don't know. Macedonia. <laughs> I know I'm thinking cookies right, right now. Um, for two years working in local preschools with special needs children and helping other volunteers facilitate projects in their local community. When not at work, he enjoys skiing, rock climbing, and spending time with his family. So that's Garrett, and he'll be our presenter here in just a second. So last year, we completed a coalition evaluation with JSI, and during that evaluation, one thing that they mentioned numerous times was that people didn't know they were members of the coalition. They didn't know what their role was and they didn't know what the coalition does. It was suggested that we one, outline responsibilities of a member and two, create some type of orientation that provided useful information that someone would need to understand their role in the coalition and how the coalition benefits them, their organization and their community. So with that guidance, we have been working on an orientation presentation. We'll present that to you today here with Garrett in just a minute. And during that presentation, I would really like for you to listen for a few things specifically. This presentation should identify what a member is, what the coalition is and how it works, and what our purpose is, and what you can get out of being a member. So at the end of the presentation today, um, hopefully those questions will be answered. Um, and if they are, hopefully they'll answered very well. So please let us know if we do not answer those questions. Inside of your folder is a new member orientation evaluation. And so that will ask those specific questions and for your feedback. Um, once we've finalized the feedback or the presentation after receiving your feedback, we plan on scheduling new member orientation calls on a quarterly basis and inviting any new um, people that sign up for the YCC to those calls so that they can have a chance to be um, given this information and hopefully that will help their experience with the coalition um, to improve that. So with that, I will turn it over to Garrett. All right, thank you for that introduction, Star. Um, as you said, I am Garrett. I work for the Wyoming Cancer Coalition as the coordinator. Star, you know her, she is the Unit Prevention Program Manager. Um, I've been with the coalition, I think, for about the past eight months now. Timelines are wonky in COVID. <laughs> and been at the Casper Natrona County Health Department for the past two years now. Um, along with the Wyman Cancer Coalition, I do HIV case management and HIV prevention and education efforts in Wyoming. So STAR has been with the Wyoming Cancer Program at the Wyoming Department of Health for the last five years. And in her new role as the unit manager, she's responsible for providing the Cancer and Chronic Disease Prevention Program with a strategic vision and leadership to decrease the burden of cancer in Wyoming for Wyoming residents. Um, just a brief overview of today's presentation. There will be an opportunity for questions at the end. Anybody on Zoom, please feel free to put them in the chat and Randy will let us know. And to begin, why a coalition? What can we do together that we want to be able to do unless we work together by leveraging our strengths and resources, we can make a larger impact. Um, I think Kelty touched on it earlier about le leveraging strengths. And I think that is the whole point of a coalition is all coming together. Our mission is to reduce the burden of cancer in Wyoming with the purpose of breathing, bringing people together to create coordinated approaches, and it has achieved the goals outlined in the cancer plan. And this has been shaped by our history. The Wyoming Cancer Coalition was formed in 2004 when the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention published a funding opportunity for comprehensive cancer control. And the first cancer plan was drafted and the Cancer Control Act was enacted. Uh, just a few highlights about the YCC over the last few years. The Cancer Control Act outlined the need for county cancer coordinators. And today that is the um, Wyoming Resource Service, Wyoming Cancer Resource Service Coordinators. That's how you would understand them. And 
In 2015, the American Cancer Society published a um, piloted a fit kit program in Wyoming, which led to the colorectal cancer rules to change and to include the at home stool based options. And hopefully, we will provide an update about stature soon. And the Wyoming Breast Cancer Initiative and WCR's county contractors have partnered together to provide mammogram vouchers statewide to help women pay for mammograms if they cannot afford them. That's still ongoing today. And Dr. Van Dornick also touched earlier on the sunscreen dispensers that are located um, statewide. Now there are over 100 and we have received national recognition from Impact Melanoma. And all this has been funded through a cooperative agreement with the CDC. And you are all here today because you've been with the coalition for a while or you're new. Um, and I really like this quote from Dr. Van Dornick. Joining the YCC allows one to take a proactive approach to cancer's inevitable presence in our lives. Its members create and implement the state's cancer control plan. In doing so, YCC members have a voice in caring for themselves, their loved ones, and members of their community. I think it's important to remember that cancer will impact all of us um, in some way. And when we are able to come together and create one voice, we have a larger impact in Wyoming. So. Just to revisit our cancer plan. Um, historically, this has been a five-year plan and the latest iteration of the plan was released in 2021. And it is a roadmap that utilizes the latest feedback from members and it has identified supporting strategies and goals. Um, and when put together, they're evidence-based and they should reduce the impact of cancer in Wyoming. Um, this is just the mm, organization, organization of the YCC. So we have Wyoming Department of Health and they uh, facilitate the activities of the coalition. There's me, the coordinator, and I'm just the dedicated staff for the coalition. Our steering committee is a group of individuals who have been nominated. They um, work on the discussion making progress for the YCC. Um, there are two chairs, they are elected position and typically serve for three years. And then we have our work groups, which are formed to align with the priorities of the Wyoming Cancer Plan. And these um, work groups are available to any member. And along with all of you, we have national supporters, um, statewide organizations, and everything that's done cannot be done without our members. So these are our four work, five work groups. Um, each is topic specific. And if you haven't done so already, I would encourage everyone to sign up for a work group or identify someone from your organization that would be able to make that commitment. Um, every work group has a lead, and then every work group also has a Wyoming Department of Health liaison. The lead works on facilitating the discussion, um, helping with the meetings, run the meetings, and then our lead is there to relay information back to the Wyoming Department of Health. And the benefits, um, work groups, they're essential to the success of implementing the cancer plan, as well as meeting our goal to create a forum for open dialogue and between members working on the same projects across the state. And now to put it all together, what are the benefits of your participation and engagement in the coalition? First, I think it's an opportunity to, where other professionals and individuals who share the same objectives and goals to come together we just had networking over lunch. We met some new people. And as a group of people coming together to educate and share resources for the betterment of our communities, we can expand on our knowledge of barriers and strategies of best practices that work for others. And the coalition provides a space to build partnership and apply what you've learned through collaboration to your own cause. And coalitions join people together to create a collective voice to leverage resources and produce a specific change they'd be unable to achieve individually. Finally, we would like to recognize you for all the great work you're doing in Wyoming with your organizations. 
coalition building is an art more than anything else. It requires individuals and groups to be willing to rise above their feelings of separateness and to actively collaborate in a spirit of mutual understanding, patience, and flexibility. When members share responsibility, goals, decisions, and leadership, and energetically and enthusiastically work together toward a common goal, the coalition has a great potential for success. Just logistics, we have two biannual meetings. This is the spring one, and we'll have another one in the fall. And we have our coalition chairs, Dr. Van Dornick and Lisa Eads. Dr. Van Dornick is a pediatric hematologist oncologist with the Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. And Lisa Eads, with the help of her friends and family, founded the Jason's Friends Foundation to help Wyoming families by providing a financial need and advocacy and encouragement, non-medical financial need. And we are active on our social media, but you can also get information from the YCC website about work group meeting notes, slides, um, upcoming meetings, and our newsletter also provides all that information as well. Our social media is there to share information about coalition activities and provide education about cancer to Wyoming residents. So if you haven't done so already, I would encourage you to like and follow us. Um, if you would like to highlight any of your recent wins at your organization, feel free to reach out to StarEye and we will uh, work on collaborating something and getting that posted. Then our contact information, feel free to grab us at the end. We can give that to you if you haven't had so already. And any questions? All right, great.